Google Fi is a telecommunications service developed by Google. Well, that was pretty obvious. So Google Fi provides phone calls, SMS, and mobile internet. It's like a carrier, except that Google Fi is not a carrier. And that's what Google says. Google describes its service as a mobile virtual network operator, an MVNO, which is a telecommunications service that does not own or manage any wireless network infrastructure, like electrical wiring or cell phone towers. Instead, they reach business agreements with mobile network operators to obtain bulk access to their infrastructure at wholesale rates, then sale at retail prices independently. That industry burst in the 90s when the European telecom saw market liberalization and 2G network technology improved. Google Fi has agreements with the US companies Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and Hong Kong based 3 for the usage of their infrastructure. The system switches between those three servers depending on the signal strength and speed. Also, with the idea to save consuming data, it connects to Wi-Fi hotspots using a VPN generated by an automatic encryption system. Too tricky to explain here. But it was done that way for your safety, and it happens without you noticing. All data traffic is encrypted. Google works with a special SIM card and software installed on your phone. You need to have an unlocked phone and sign up for Google Fi online. Then Google will send you the SIM to put in your smartphone and ta-da! You're ready to use Google Fi. The service works in more than 170 countries without any change in service. But the speed depends on the territory you're in and the roaming partners for that service. It also features rich communication system. It's an improved SMS version that supports high quality photos, video calls, geolocation info, file transfer, group chats, and more. It's like Google's version of WhatsApp, although the RCS was developed by other people and is not a third party app. With Google Fi, you can make calls and send messages from any device using Google Hangouts. Also, you can forward calls to your Fi number from any number you want, as well as voicemails. During its beta version, the system had the name of Project Fi, and it was launched for the Nexus 6 by invitation only in 2015. Then in 2016, Google expanded the system to more smartphones and opened it to the public. In November 2018, Google rebranded as Google Fi and added support for more smartphones, including iPhones. But in case you want a first-class experience, you can take these HTC LG models, which were designed for the service, and brought an electronic SIM pre-programmed for Google Fi, so you won't need to get the physical SIM, leaving the SIM slot for your cell phone free. Google Fi works with a monthly flat fee-based plan, which you pay $20 at the beginning of every month for unlimited calls and messaging, and customizable data allowance costing $10 per one gig. The money of unused data is credited back to your account. Each additional gigabyte for data costs $10. Outside the US, phone calls cost 20 cents per minute. If you reach the six gigabyte data cap, which costs $60, then you don't pay anything more, regardless of how much data you use. This is called build protection, an unlimited tier for Google Fi where you continue getting data service and never pay more than $80, 60 plus 20. If you go over 15 gigs per month, however, your speed will be slowed down to 156K, I mean, Pretty bad. Google Fi also has the group plan where six people can share the same account and billing source. It has the same features as the individual plan. Each account has a manager who can add members for $15 each. The group chooses a manager who can handle the billing and limit the use of any member, add monthly allowances and buy more data. Group plan also features the group repay method where Google Fi calculates each of the members shares of the bill and the features they used. Then the group can decide if they wanna share the payment or how they were gonna handle that. Google Fi has gotten positive reviews in the last weeks. Some people have complained about the plan price not being fully convenient if you're away from Wi-Fi networks most of your day, and the fact that it's not supported by all smartphones in the market. If you're considering buying Google Fi while living outside of the US, we've linked a great video review in the description. We would also like to know how much access they will have to personal info and how they will use it. We'll brief you on that once we know. Google Fi and the arrival of MVNO into the big internet companies could be a game changer for the telecommunications industry. If you're considering switching to Google Fi, let us know in the comments. And also, let us know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer them. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Please, it matters a lot to us. That's it for today. Stay fresh.